Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you absolutely fantastic chess game. This is the game between Glingsberg and Mugio Neidorf that was played in Warsaw, Poland in 1928. In this game, our hero Mugio Neidorf had black pieces and we are going to have a look at this game from black's point of view. White played d4. Neidorf played f5, Dutch defense. c4, knight to f6, knight to c3, e6, knight to f3, d5, and you have stoneball variation of Dutch defense. e3, c6, bishop to d3, bishop to d6, both players castled kingside, white played knight to e2. Let's go back. Better way to continue was to play b3, and after knight to e4, bishop to b2, and after knight to d7, then knight to e2. Let's go back to our game. Knight to e2 was played. Knight from b to d7. Knight to g5, attacking pawn on e6. And we have reached critical position of the game. It is black to move. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that black played in this position. Are you ready? Have you seen this? Bishop takes on h2 check. If king takes, then knight to g4 check. And after king to g1, queen takes knight with winning attack. In the game, white played king to h1, knight to g4, f4 defending knight, queen to e1, queen is coming to h5, g3 making room for king to escape, queen to h5, king to g2, and we have reached another interesting position. It is black to move. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Neither played bishop to g1. If king takes, then queen to h2 checkmate. In the game, white captured bishop with knight, queen to h2 check, king to f3, and how to continue now? Black sacrificed a piece. He must continue to attack. What is the best move? Would you play this? e5. Pawn takes pawn. Now, Nidorf sacrificed another piece. Pawn takes knight. Knight takes on e5. This is check. King to f4. Knight to g6, check. King to f3. Another very interesting position. How would you continue? Have a good look. Black must continue to attack. He is two pieces down. If he stops, he will lose. Have you seen this? f4. Now white captured with e-pawn because if he takes with g-pawn then there is checkmate. So e takes on f4. And we have reached another interesting position. So many interesting positions in this game. How to continue now? Black to move. What would you play? Black sacrificed another piece. Bishop to g4 check. If king goes to e3, then bishop takes queen. And after rook takes on d1, queen takes on g3 with winning attack. In the game, white captured bishop, hoping that black will run out of pieces. And it's black to move again. Hmm, how to continue now? h5 doesn't work, because king goes back to f3. So, how should black continue? Well, black sacrificed one more piece. Knight to e5 check. 
Pontex Knight and it is black to move and to give checkmate. H5 checkmate. What a game! So you've seen Polish immortal game. The game was famous because black sacrificed all four of his minor pieces and won brilliantly. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.